is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another episode of wwe action figure appointment you guys know that action figure surgeries next episode is episode 50 so i want to make that really big so we got to hold off a little bit for that i got to get some stuff in here and do some things but we have a fix that we're going to do today that I really wanted to do on Action Figure Surgery episode number 50, but uh, we're going to have to wait on it. And actually, I had to order a figure just for, you know, this fix-up, and it came in, and the, the part that I needed for the figure is kind of screwed up, and you guys will see what I'm talking about with that. But today on Action Figure Appointment, we got some cool swippage and swappages. A lot of them have to do with one figure specifically, but we are going to fix up some other things, and I think you guys will get a really good kick out of it, and we'll fix it all up in dandy and farts and bags and nasty. So you guys know how this works we need to run through exactly what we're going to do on action figure appointment then we will dive into the appointment itself conducting the surgery slash appointment getting all the swippages and swappages that we would like to do and then we will showcase them at the end so let's go ahead and get into it guys let's go ahead and start off with uh, this jeff hardy right here so you guys know that we did this fix up a little while ago where we had the feet on it right we had the green foot on there and then we had the yellow foot on there you guys can see here we have the yellow foot from the mustafa ali and then we have the green kofi kingston foot I'm going to take the Mustafa Ali one off. I mean, you can't even tell that it's really yellow besides that little glimmer right there. So I think putting two green ones on there will tie in perfectly to the green here, the green in the face. I just think it, it'll look a lot better, first of all. Second of all, I need this foot because we're going to do a different style fix-up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the other... <gasps> we're going to take the other foot from the other Kofi thing here and put that right there. Take this foot off, put it on the Mustafa Ali. From there, we will conduct another switch that I'm actually really, really excited about, okay? I think this is going to look pretty sweet, fire, nasty. We're going to take the top talents, Seth freaking Rollins. We're going to take off the knee pads and the lower legs and kick pads, and we're going to switch them with the lower legs and kick pads of this Mustafa Ali in the yellow color. The yellows are pretty much identical. They look freaking nice. I think the yellow, it'll be very similar to our Elite 75 Seth Rollins that we did where we had the orange kick pads on that figure. We're going to put the yellow kick pads on this figure. Not only that, we're also, I don't know what's up with Mustafa right there. We're also going to take the WrestleMania 36 Basic Rollins and take these knee pads and put them on the figure because I want the SR logo on there. But you guys can see the SR logo is like off-centered. It's not even the right position. It's like too far inside. It needs to be that way, maybe half an inch or like a centimeter or three. And that really upsets me. I got this off Amazon and that happens. So we're going to have to do something about that. I, I mean, I guess I can just, I actually went to Big Lots yesterday and found another one of these basics. I'll probably buy another one and just for the, I mean, I always use the head sculpt, so that's nice. Even if I don't use the full figure, I can put it in the crowd, use the head sculpt, use the knee pads. We'll, we'll figure out something to do with it so it won't be completely wasted. So here is Seth Rollins out of the packaging. Again, you guys can see here, I mean, even if I spin it out a little bit, I mean, that, that definitely looks better. If you spin it to the right a little bit, maybe it was just too far in there. I don't know. I, I I think it's going to work out okay. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but that is not all the swippages and swappages we're going to do, guys. I thought about taking the arms off of this Tyson Kid basic and putting them also on this Top Talents Rollins. And look at the uh, the wrist tape there. The yellow matches that as well. So we might be in for a really cool Seth Rollins fix-up here and wicked-looking attire once it's all said and done. We get those feet switched with Jeff. We get the lower leg swap. We get the arm swap. We get the knee pads on there. We could be talking about a really cool Seth Rollins fantasy attire with fix-ups that you guys know we always like to do here on the channel. Now, one last thing I'm going to do, a huge shout-out to my boy, Balor Figs UK. We're going to be using the Bray Wyatt Zombies jacket vest right here to fix up our Seth Rollins right here to make it, you know, give him the furry look around the collar, and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that, but now that we've dived into it, guys, we know exactly what we're going to be doing here on Action Figure Appointment. Let's go ahead and conduct our stuff with Dr. Whitekiss. All right, guys, so the first order of business is going to be fixing this up. Now, what we're going to do for this is actually going to be really, really simple. Uh, I'm going to remove the black t-shirt because I don't really see Rollins wearing the black t-shirt really anymore on TV. He's usually wearing it shirtless, like underneath the jacket. And so we are going to do this right here. And then the next thing we're going to do is you put the jacket on over the shirtless mold right here. So you'll take your DX Triple H jacket like this or your Finn Balor jacket, whatever jacket you've been using. You'll put it over it like that. And then from here, you will then play 
place the vest onto the uh, onto the cloth jacket, like over it. That way, it creates like that illusion that he has on a fur jacket. You know, it gives it that look. And there you go. I honestly, I mean, it's not horrific. It's not my favorite thing ever. I feel like the sleeves are kind of flailing, and it's kind of thick right here on the body. But there's the back of it. If you guys were wondering, I, I don't know. It's not terrible. I don't know how I feel about it. I bet if I used one of those Finn Balor jackets that I got off eBay, I felt like it would probably look a whole lot better. But you know, it is what it is. If you guys want to do that fix up right there, I showed you how to do it. I probably, I, I don't know if I'll keep it this way, but there you go. If you guys were wondering how to do that, if you guys want to do that yourselves right there, updated Seth Rollins Monday Night Messiah for your collections. All right, guys, for our next order of business, we are going to heat up all this stuff at once. So the lower legs of the Mustafa Ali, the foot of the Jeff Hardy, the foot of the Kofi Kingston right here. Also, we need to get our Seth Rollins. Now, this is what I'll say about the Seth Rollins. You do not want to leave the vest on there because if you leave the vest on there, uh, it's going to warp it and it's going to ruin it. Now, I know that, you know, we're not necessarily going to be in that area right now. Like, we are going to switch the arms later, but you do not want that to be in the way of your heat because it will F that vest up. And I actually have another one of these on the way so I could still have one in the, you know, in this attire. So I did order an extra one. That way we would still have one for the, you know, the collection and I can put the X on the other vest and stuff like that. Now, we do need to slide these knee pads up so that way I can get these lower legs. Now, I, I highly doubt, to be honest with you, that we're going to be able to get all of this switched at once, but we are going to attempt it anyway. I, just, I, I don't know, man. I just don't see it happening. You guys know how we're, we're trying to get it all in one take, and I just don't see that happening. But here comes the white trusty hair dryer. We're going to try it out anyways, and again, probably not going to work, but we'll see. And yeah, Brad, just like that. I mean, that is just wonderful. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. You know, I'm not really looking forward to it. Don't think we're going to be able to get all of it off at the same time here. And uh, you guys know, trying to get the, you know, the 12 minutes or less or whatever the hell the, the deal is for the action figure appointments episodes because they're supposed to be a smaller version of action figure surgery. But you guys know, I mean, Jesus Christ, have we even done that ever? That's the goal. But have we ever done it? It's because I overcompensate. I'm like, you know what, Brad? This isn't enough for an episode. And then I try and then we fail miserably. All right, I got those lower legs off we are going to go ahead and put the uh the, the the knee pads that we want on there on there already i didn't even have to apply heat to the basic to get those knee pads off so if you guys have a modern basic i don't even think you need heat bro you just kind of pull on the ankle a little bit and it should plop off there let's see if we can get this foot off got that foot off of the jeff hardy can we get this foot off of the kofi okay that was actually pretty simple there no excuses there uh over here can we get this foot on before we switch it over let's see if we can get this foot on the mustafa ali just like so Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We actually may be, I don't, I mean, like, we'll we'll probably get everything detached, but can we actually get everything on there? Like, look at that peg. This little hole didn't get heated up enough, so that's getting really stiffy liffy on me, and it's being a hobo. And I actually wanted to put some uh, black kick pads onto the, uh, onto the Mustafa Ali. Like, I might put the Top Talents Rollins ones on there for now. I'm not going to. Maybe we can do that on action figure surgery or something. But I wanted to get some black kick pads for the Mustafa Ali because I feel like that would look okay as well. Okay, if we can get this through here, we might be able to do it because this is still kind of, you know, loosey-goosey and that's still really stiff. Like, Jesus. Yeah, not gonna happen, Brad. God in heaven. All right. All right, really, really close. Not quite there, but you guys will see what it looks like at the end. So don't worry about the Rollins. I'll get him fixed up and I'll get the uh, kick pads attached and all that good stuff before we move on to the next segment. The other thing we have to do is we have to put this foot onto the Jeff Hardy because I think this will look really, really nice. Now, God in heaven, I don't remember how I did this. These are always difficult, man. Putting feet on different figures is super difficult, especially on like Jeff Hardy's because they have like a ball joint in there that like likes to turn and rotate and be garbage. God in heaven. All right, I finally got it on there. Jesus, Lord in heaven. We'll take a closer look at that at the end. And now we got to move on to the Tyson Kidd arms onto the Seth Rollins. All right, guys, the last order of business is the arms of both figures. Hopefully, we can get them both at the same time and we don't have to worry about any bull crap about flipping them. Hopefully we can get them both. Uh, actually, you know what? Probably doing this might work better. That way you can get a little bit on both. I don't know. We'll see. All 
Alright guys, here we go. Let's see if we can get it going. Right arm of the left arm of the God in heaven. Yeah, very, very hot. Okay, the Seth Rollins. Got the one arm. Got the other arm. Now popping the Tyson Kidd arms over here. I hate that he doesn't have a mic holding hand over here, but there we go. Alright, we got both arms on there. Now that we've gotten that switch, guys, we'll take a closer look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Appointment. All right, guys, here's everything we've done on WWE Action Figure Appointment. Very successful appointment, man. I, th I think this is really sick. I think all three turned out great. Here is the Rollins again if you guys want to do that yourselves. I'm not too big of a fan of it. I just feel like the sleeves kind of look weird. I, I don't know. It's not bad by any means, and I also feel like this is probably a little bit too big for this Rollins, but overall, you know, if you want to do that, I like it. Whatever you do, you know, you do whatever you want. As far as Jeff Hardy is concerned, I think I like the double green better, man. I just like it better. If I had like a purple or, you know, a bright red or something like that that I could put over here that would look like this because the Mustafa Ali, you guys can see here, it's just hard to see the yellow on top here, which was a big part of it. I really wanted to see the yellow part. I could have acetoned it, but, and I actually think that was the plan, but I'm kind of glad I didn't now because we did switch it up a little bit, but I am happy with the way the Jeff Hardy Joker clown sort of attire came out. And for the main event, guys, the Seth Rollins Top Town fix up fantasy attire whatever the hell you want to call this looks spectacular i am very very happy with the way this came out all the black and yellows tie in perfectly i think these wristbands look really good with like their you know like these v modern type shapes that they got going on with it the yellow really breaks up all of that black the yellow on the sr and tying into here and the sr there and then you spin it around you got the yellow on the kick pads with the stuff going by i really like it man it's really cool you don't have to worry this is like a custom fantasy attire and you don't have to worry about any paint chip, anything like that. You can do whatever you want with it. This will just go into the massive collection of Seth Rollins fantasy attire fix-ups that we have made in the past. And I'm happy to add it, man. I think it looks great, especially like this right here. Like, you can see all the different details and colors. Maybe something about the kick pads. Like, maybe if, I, I don't know, it showed more yellow. I mean, even if you acetoned all this stuff off here and kept the feet black. Like, if you acetoned off, you know, this right here. Maybe kept an outline of black in the middle of this be yellow or something. I don't know. There's probably a way to get a little bit more yellow, but overall, I still think it looks really, really good. I'm happy with it, man. I, I am very thrilled about it. This is my favorite thing. Like, seeing fix-ups like this is what makes, you know, the, everything worth it when we're, when we're switching it around and burning my fingers off and making these surgery videos. I would love to know what you guys think of the Seth Rollins figure down below. What do you think about the little fix-up hack here from Shout Out to Ballard Figs UK again for that? And then what do you think of the fix-up on the clown Jeff Hardy attire? Let me know down in the comment section below, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You guys have been killing it on Twitter. Keep it up. You know, give me, get, we need more following over there again. Keep making those Twitter accounts. Follow me on Twitter. I really, really appreciate you guys. That's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.